Example six, same five things. We're going to start by graphing now our h of x. Okay, so I'm going to put this in my calculator. So to get the cubic root, I think we've went over this before, but as a reminder, we're going to go to math. And then it's number four right here. So either arrow down or just hit four. And now we have the cubic root. And so we have x minus two. And then I will hit, oh, yeah, hit. Then I'll hit graph. So there's my graph. So we know what it should look like. So let's go to table. So hit second graph. And I'm going to put every number in here that's going to fit. So it looks like I'm going to start right here at negative 6, negative 2. I'm only doing the whole numbers that fit. So 1, negative 1. We have 2, 0. And three, one, if we can fit any more. And just barely a 10, two. Okay, so those are my ordered pairs. So now let's plot those. And connect. You can see it pretty well on how the shape of this should be. But as a reminder, it needs to look like this. And I will remember this time to label it. This is my H. Now, part B wants to know um, is this a one-to-one -one function? And you can see your horizontal line, it passes. Even though this goes pretty um, horizontal looking, it's still going down and going down and going up and going up. So B is yes, because it passes the HLT. And then part C wants to know, does it have an inverse? Well, it's going to be yes as well. If it is one-to-one, -one, then yes, it has an inverse. So now part D, if it does, graph the inverse on the same axis. So to find my inverse here, I'm going to switch my ordered pairs. So my X column will become my Y column. And then my Y column will become my X column. And now let's plot these. We can see that shape again pretty well. There is my inverse. So there's my h to the negative 1. And for visual purposes, again, I'm going to put in that line of symmetry going corner to corner through the origin. And this is my line of y equals x. And so you can see everything there is equal distance from that line of symmetry. Okay, so the last part, and maybe the hardest part, is actually finding the inverse. So we have graphed the inverse. So what is the name of that graph? So following our steps again, 
the first thing we're going to do is replace our f of x with y, or in this case, our h of x. So now I have y equals the cubic root of x minus 2. Second thing is interchange x and y. So now I have x equals the cubic root of y minus 2. Step 3 is to solve for y. So because y is under this radical, and this is the only thing on this side, just like on the previous page, when I had y cubed, the opposite was to take the cubic root. Now I have the cubic root. The opposite of that is to cube both sides. So on the left side, I have x cubed. On this side, my cubic root and cube cancel each other out because they are opposite operations. And now we're left with what's just under that radical y minus 2. So now my last step is to add our 2 over. Those are unlike terms. So that's x cubed plus 2 equals y. Do not stop there. If you want full credit, you need to replace your y with your inverse notation. So because we had h of x, this is now the inverse of h equals x cubed plus 2.